I am Jorn Brothers, I'm 19, and what inspired me to create weapons was that I couldn't really, not necessarily buy, but not have my own customization of what weapon I wanted, so learning how to make my own weapons was the best way to customize. Uh, I started creating them about two years ago, perhaps three. The armor was, I always wanted to do leather work, and I don't know, I just really wanted to make something I could wear, I guess. Uh, the, the battlefield, or the lands, the foothills, the Ogre King versus the heroic knight with a big, massive sword. Alright, I guess. It sounds good. Joran's weapon creating adventures have <laughs> made some quite interesting weapons, and he's certainly made a whole lot. I'd say maybe 15 or so, maybe more, I haven't seen all. He definitely has got quite a diverse array, my favorite being something of a claymore greatsword type for that reach. He's made plenty of uh, just long swords and short swords, and sometimes he'll go a little wilder and make work swords or clubs, whatever he feels like really. It's pretty interesting. Well, Joran's gone into creating a multitude of weapons. He's got, he's made maces, uh, halberd ones, spears, swords. So it's more than, he doesn't just make swords. And I mean, he does make majority swords, but he's made a bunch. This one is probably my favorite because I like big chopping, swinging, heavy swords and they, fit well with my uh, body structure, seeing as I'm very tall. This one was made with extra care because the PVC I got actually was a gift because the piece that I got from it was about to be thrown away, but uh, it was given to me because someone knew I did this. So yeah, this one is my favorite one. This one is older. I made this like halfway through of what I've done so far. It was a new experimentation with seeing as there's a D guard here and uh, putting on socks for softness impact, whatever you want to call it, was also applied here. It's been repaired at least twice now. It's not in the best shape, but it still holds up. This one was destroyed and then made new again. The old one, the blade broke, it was falling apart, so I took the core and I put a new blade on it and I extended the handle. I really like it because you have so much versatility with this handle and the shortness of the blade and the longness of the blade, so it can be used in many different ways. These two, these are the newest ones I've made. They go well with each other. They are both extremely fast, especially this one, but they both turned out very well. This is probably my favorite, favorite, most favorite short sword I have. Swords. This one, I needed another, or a new one-handed blade, so I found good length and made it as I usually do. And then, I have two pieces of armor, but the other one is not in the best shape right now. This one's my favorite. Uh, it was the second one I made. Um, <clears throat> both require a belt, as regular armor does. Um, it's got shoulder pads, front and back plating, and little strands that go down to your hips. It's very comfortable to wear, it's very easy to move in, it's very fun to make, and it's the best I've done. The material used to make these swords are PVC, they can vary in thickness, pool noodle, there's actually a wide variety of pool noodle, it actually matters which, which kind of pool noodle you use. A lot of different tapes, primarily packaging tape, electric tape, duct tape, and those are the three main tapes that I use. And then socks or some kind of nylon. 
so that the blades aren't beaten up too, too bad and that are softer on impact of human flesh. <laughs> My favorite activity with the foam swords is uh, dueling one on one because it's the most fair and you get to see really how far your skills are. I have taken you. <laughs> My favorite activity with the foam swords is 1v1 dueling because it's a whole lot more intense while uh, you, know, you can focus more on just fighting one person so you can really hone your skills a lot more. My favorite part for armor making is looking at what you've accomplished, what you've cut out of the material, and what you've shaped it all to be, and then just placing it on your own self and seeing how it functions.